What's wrong with Butterfly CFD? Many of you have asked me why Butterfly CFD doesn't work anymore in Rhino 8. Without confirming, let's recap the problem. Butterfly CFD has never been a finished plugin. It was always in a beta stage and the development stopped in 2019, roughly six years ago. I don't, don't ask me why, but it stopped. And, but at the same time, we also need to acknowledge that Butterfly CFD is not a standalone CFD tool. It is actually only an interface for a much larger software package in the background, which is OpenFoam, and in that case packaged into the Blue Core CFD software package for Windows. And that package and that software package is well maintained and it's also updated. Even though Butterfly CFD might not work anymore in Rhino 8, so there's light at the end of the tunnel and we'll get there at the end of the video. But first, let's let's find out if Butterfly CFD really doesn't work anymore in Rhino 8. All right, in order to install or reinstall, let's recap very quickly. I will not go through the whole process because I did a video on how to install Butterfly already. I will place I will place the the link to that video into the show notes. Now, here it says Grasshopper for Rhino, where you can install it, the requirements, Grasshopper for Rhino 4 and 5 for Windows, and Grasshopper for Rhino 6 for Windows. I know for a fact that it also worked on Rhino 7 and I probably and it probably also works on Rhino 8. Now you need to download and I would recommend to really go through the github.com ladybug tools butterfly wiki to really go f step by step through on how to install it. Again I will not show the whole process but yeah it's everything is described super neat here What's really important is the blue core CFD, blue CFD core installation. And when you go here, the most important aspect is that you install the blue CFD core 2027. 2027. This is absolute key. If you don't, it will not work. All right. So. I have installed this. This is my. This is the installation. You also need to run uh, the th the terminal once just to set up a environment, and that's it. You don't need to do more. There is another tool here that comes with the installation. Is the Power View? This is the desktop interface tool which which uh, access the Blue CFD core program software. So you can do CFD analysis without Rhino. All right. Okay. Now I I download butterfly again now let's make sure we're doing this correctly if you have rhino open just close it and right click and run as admin if you cannot run it as admin it's it will not work it it will there will be a problem but you should be able to do it to run it as an admin even though it's installed by your company or by your it team all right okay so we have this we can extract everything there should be a folder here it's here and let's go into grasshopper okay make sure you uninstalled or removed every all the files the original files to reinstall this okay let's just put this here let's just pull this in okay it seems like it doesn't work okay open Let's see. It says here old, but let's try it anyway. Okay. It says here fail to remove user admin app data raw my grasshopper user object butterfly. Not sure. Maybe it tried to look for the old installation. I'm not sure why it says here old, but probably because it is old. Installation is finished successfully. Close both Rhino and Grasshopper and run Rhino as administrator. All right. Close, install, no, close, close. All right, let's do this again. Right click, run as admin. Okay, let's see if that has worked. Butterfly is here. Now let's see if we can update. Let's see if that works. Okay, there would be an update folder. It doesn't matter. We try, let's try if some of the files still work. If you go into the installation 
folder you can go here and example files and you can we can try the auto airflow let's check if it still works all right open butterfly user okay example files airflow okay so let's disconnect this it makes an error it's just this never worked i'm not sure why but let's see what happens here okay can we see that so so despite that everybody said it doesn't work it seems like it's still working okay no no problem here so far let's see here how that works okay right yes true let's see so who said it doesn't work aside from that it says here old it still works and the reason is yeah it's old but it's it hasn't changed so it still works with the right blue cfd core software package which is the 2017 or maybe it's even 2018 i think i installed that also still worked go for the 2017 as described in the github section so it still works there's no issue it's still calculating by the way it goes through here at least a hundred times but is this the right solution is this really the right solution i'll stop this here you can see it works let's try a different arctic so yeah still works it still works now this is quite amazing that it still works it's yeah it has it says old but yeah you can still use it that's not an issue but the question is, there will be probably a day where it will not work anymore. The good news is, it is just an interface. It's just an interface for OpenFoam in the background. And there is another tool which is maintained and uses the same engine, Eddy3D. So let's check out Eddy3D. All right, you can find Eddy. You can find Eddy3D on food for rhino and the great thing is it's updated it's up to date 2.25 it's already updated for the platform rhino 8 and you can download the latest link here or you can go to the eddy 3d website they have a website where you can also download and in the past it only had one module which was the outdoor module or it was like one cfd tool for outdoors now they actually have a bit more they offer also radiation and heat moisture transfer that's really cool driven by urban microclimate foam and they also have indoor airflow modeling airflow moisture content passive scalar scalars in indoor spaces they are relatively up to date in terms of which cfd with uh, which blue cfd they are using they until recently they also used the blue cfd core 2017 but they are updated now to this one now on the website so i recommend you go to the website and you download the right thing now what i have to do first is uninstall my blue cfd blue cfd tools from my computer because i don't want this to interfere now let's do that and i don't mind if if my butterfly cfd is gone i i think we should use what's updated and what's new and where people spend the energy to actually improve it now let's go here special folders i'm closing i'm closing rhino close and let's see i think must be somewhere here auto save no cluster user objects i think that that's the one i installed just now and i'll just delete that whole thing okay i'll just delete this and then i will also need to delete the blue cfd core 2017 because I want to install the latest version i also kill this one don't need that anymore by the way this is a huge package also if you run this open form cfd calculations make sure that you have enough space on your machine and then also know where it writes all the data because it can fill up your computer up to the rim and then yeah okay okay right now it should be gone gone great let's move on we can download this one so for versions 04 0 0.4 and high newer than 0 0.4 please install blue cfd 20 should be fine okay let's get this i have installed radiance already 
because because of ladybug and let's check if it all works let's see and they also have tutorials it's great we'll we'll check it out right away auto plus let's see if we need to install anything else here that sounds very promising let's just see first if if it works and then we can do another tutorial about that 800 800 megabyte Okay, just out of curiosity, what's the latest version? 24. So I hope they will keep updating because at the beginning I was not a big, was not as a big fan of Eddie 3D, but I really appreciated that they didn't stop developing this, and it seems like they are also adding other functionality to it now, which is great. Okay, done. Show folder, and now we can just install this. So the latest was actually, okay, I will just use whatever it's already suggested. And yeah, you can see the last, the last version was 2024. So every, every couple of years they bring out a new version. And that's quite a good sign. So it might be that 83, 83D hopefully will also update at some point to the latest uh, Blue, Core C, Blue CFD Core software. But let's see if it actually works. Again, make sure you have installed the right blue blue CFD core installation. That was it's with 99% of the problems on Butterfly CFD, people have installed the wrong version. I can play a bit of Kalimba if you want. Okay, I was there was some error message, but let's see if if there's any issue. Uh, probably not. It's just a newer version of some component. Let's see. We need to run this. It seems like you also can have different versions installed, but Okay, I think that should be okay. I think that's fine. So you need to make sure you run this, the core thermal, and then it should work. Oh, yes. Of course, we need to install Eddie 3D, the latest version. We haven't done that yet. All right, let's, let's see. I have downloaded it. Let's put this also here on the desktop or wherever here. Yeah, all right. All right. I also, of course, need to install this. Let's double click. Run anyway. Yes. Install. Finish. All right. And let's see how if if the installation works. And let's see. All right. Let's head over to Grasshopper. If Eddie 3D is not here, then something went wrong. And you need to go into the special folders and check if there is a file. In case you had an older installation, if there's a file which is called ad3d.lib and you can see then uh, if it's an old date then you need to remove it and then you can install it again and it should work now so if i go here what's really great is that it has these templates ready-made templates and a bit similar to a butterfly cfd where you have a folder which with already ready-made um, scripts this allows you to just put in a template or portion of, of a code or like as <clears throat> like a script without opening any other directory so this is really great now let's do this so we can for example do the simple wind analysis now you see can see it didn't run here I'm, i will not explain much because we will go through that a bit more in detail in future videos but you can see this is the director where it saved everything. You can actually copy this and open. And if there was if there was already some simulation done before, then it will store stuff here. But let's let's go through the whole process so we see if anything maybe is not working. So we need to run the mesh here. Again, we'll explain more in future videos. But that is running. And by the way, I haven't really showed you what that file looks like but yeah it's a very simple simple boxes and probably if we if we show this thing here then we see the the domain the wind tunnel basically run simulation we need just to check if there's anything after this or before pressed true okay we can run the simulation 
and that will then enable us to see something here hopefully okay that was very quick i hope that was okay let's see if we go here all right that worked it seems like and let's do this here yeah that's quite fast great stuff let's okay yeah i'm not sure why it's why it's doing this oh this is also cool you can directly open this in paraview so i think i have to i have to do a new rhino eddy 3d tutorial there's some new stuff going on there's there's some new methods in here even about radiation it's what's really cool is it is geared towards master planning urban planning that's great so it has a few it has a few tools which are kind of competing a bit with ladybug you also have this run cleaning button which is great so that cleans everything this is supposed to be also in butterfly cfd also had this button but it never worked for me for some reason so that cleaned everything so you can then run the simulation again that's very useful because otherwise this folder here will explode and it will just completely block your computer So, for the people who told me that Butterfly doesn't work on Rhino 8, it's actually, it works. It still works, but because it's, it's because the, the tool is not maintained for so many years, I recommend to start looking at the alternative. What's, what's really great is with Eddie 3D that it's maintained over several years now, so there's a good chance that they will maintain this further. It's that's absolutely great and it's for free. And it will, over time, probably add more functionality, as it already has. UTCI, I saw just now, and then radiation. So it's it kind of starts to compete a bit with Ladybug. And it's... And although it, at the beginning it was only geared towards a planning, or like urban planning, it now also allows for indoor indoor calculations by the way if you if you enjoy my channel if you want to support me you can head over to my channel page and check out my membership options see you ciao